Hey, Survival Litters. Welcome to week number three of distance learning. You've made it through the first two. Let's dive right into this week. And you guys are working on uh, chapter eight of Buried in the Sky. So let's take a look at um, the calendar here for the next few days. All right, here we are on April 16th. You're getting assigned chapter eight. Now, I've made a change to things. Gone no more, you do not have, you will not be doing any more reflective quick writes. I've replaced that with guided reading questions. These are 10 multiple choice comprehension questions that you're going to answer for chapter eight. The reading check stays the same. It's gonna be five matching and five short answer questions. So you got a chapter eight here assigned for you on the 16th, it's not due till the 21st, all right? So you got about five days or so here to get chapter eight done. Um, as normal, over on the right-hand side here, you can check out the upcoming tab with our daily um, assignments and what we're doing each day. All right, let's get right into Chapter 8 because, uh, again, I want to I wanna go over these changes that, that I've uh, kind of made for, for you guys. All right, so here's Chapter 8. Watch the instructional video first. You have to do that first to have access to the other assignments. Um, now, here's the two reading assignments that you have. You only have to do one or the other, chapter eight text and guided reading or the chapter eight text and guided reading. Ed puzzle is a key word. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. This, uh, if you decide to do this, you're clicking on that, this bottom here's the chapter, you read the chapter, and then you have a PDF or a Google Doc of the questions to choose from and uh, either do them in Notability or Google Docs, it doesn't matter. And what that assignment is, is 10 questions, multiple choice, circle, X out, whatever the case is, but choose, it's multiple choice, 10 questions, multiple choice on chapter eight, okay? Submit that to school. The other way that you can do this is by reading, I'm sorry, by going in and doing the Ed Puzzle. Now here's the key thing, is that you have to do it in Schoology. Click on it right here, and it should open up and you'll be able to watch, listen to the video, and answer the embedded questions. It's the exact same 10 questions as this assignment, okay? And again, it's multiple choice. Now, I want to show you what this looks like as one of you. So let's see if this will work. So if I open up the Ed Puzzle, let's see if this works. There we go. So I've opened up the Ed Puzzle. All right, here it is. I push play on the chapter. I push play and it reads it to me and here's the 10 multiple choice questions. I listen to it, question pops up and I answer it. Listen, answer, listen, answer all the way through. It's about, it's a longer chapter. It's about 20 pages, but it's a 35 minute video. You could have this probably done in 40 minutes. Okay, again, that's two days. That's two class periods of work and you're done with it, okay? So this one is, I'm listening to it, I'm answering the questions all in one shot. I don't have to submit anything. It's going to put, it's going to put it right into the grade book um, for me, and you're done with the assignment. So again, I cannot stress this enough, is that you only have to do one or the other. Okay, you only have to do this one, this chapter reading one, where you're, it's more kind of manual, I guess, you're reading it and then you're answering the questions in Notability or Google Docs, or you do the Ed Puzzle. Now, if the Ed Puzzle, if you click on it and you have to, it's asking for you to uh, like verify your email, you might have to go to edpuzzle.com and put in your email and whatnot. You might have to do that, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that's the two, and then you have, that's the two ways of reading it, and then you have the reading check here. Okay, hopefully that makes things a little bit easier and more manageable for you guys. Now, let's talk about, um, that. I'm going to go over the Chapter 8 notes here in just a second. All right, so let's talk about Chapter 8 notes, uh, what to expect in this chapter. All right, so the, the climbers have started, uh, their, their, in Chapter 7 where we left off, the, you know, the climbers were about to take on, uh, they got their weather window and they're about to take on um, K2. Now Shaheen, remember Shaheen was going to be the lead guy. He was going to be the guy in charge of all the Sherpas. Everybody's setting the, the, uh, the ropes and everything. Okay. Now here's section one. Like I said, this is a little bit longer chapter, 
Uh, it's about 20 pages. There's nine sections. Some of the sh sections are shorter than the others. So in section one, it's talking, it starts off with cheering, one of our main characters, and other Sherpas. And they have these things called booties, which are religious charms. And it talks about those kind of in depth. Then it talks about the other climbers, like Wilco and Alberto and um, um, Marco, and just the good luck charms and the things that they're bringing with them up on the mountain as well. Section two talks about the two different ways of climbing mountains. The first style is called expedition style. This is where there's big teams and you have lead climbers breaking trails and they set fixed ropes and you set up camps as you climb up the mountain. That's how they're climbing K2 in this story. In Buried in the Sky, they're doing expedition style. The other style is alpine. This is where climbers blitz the mountain. All right, They pack light and they move fast. This is not a good choice for K2. Okay, although as you read Alberto Zerain from Spain, he kind of does, he kind of climbs a mountain solo alpine style. All right, section three deals with the climbers leaving base camp with Shaheen leading the way. Um, it talks about some climbing tips, so you're going to have to pay attention to those. Um, now, it, it, it picks up in camp two, and Shaheen gets very sick in camp two. Obviously, this is a huge problem because Shaheen is in charge of all the Sherpas and, the, and, uh, and navigating the different languages and the, th the communication dif between the Sherpas and whatnot. So him getting sick is a huge problem. All right, section four talks about, this is a short section, uh, talks about the conflict between Wilco and Joselito. All right, those two have problems. Section five um, the climbers have left Camp 2, and Shaheen has said, I'm staying here. Okay? And basically, he's, he, he's basically given up. He's staying there. He's so sick that he can't climb. So it's radioed down to base camp that Shaheen is staying at Camp 2, and this guy named Nadir, he's a cook for the Serbian team. He has little climbing experience. He's going to climb up and help Shaheen. All right. Section 6 talks about ghost winds, which is the title of the chapter. Ghost winds are very violent winds that come out of nowhere. Um, section 6 is a fairly short section. Section 7 talks about the Camp 3 winds. Okay, the, camp, the winds that happen in Camp 3. It talks about Wilco's and Joselito's tent setup. This is going to be important later on. All right, again, Section 6 and 7 are both fairly short sections. Section 8 is the rescue of Shaheen. So Nadir gets to Shaheen in Camp 2 and helps him out and uh, gets, you know, helps rescue him. Nadir has been climbing for about 30 hours straight, which is pretty amazing for a guy who has very little experience. And then the last section of the book, it ends with Joselito's tent and the winds and something that happens there. It very, uh, becomes a very dire situation, very survival scary, scary situation for Joselito. And Wilco kind of does something that, you know, Wilco's kind of a jerk. Um, and he does something very jerk-like. So you're going to have to read about that. All right. All right, so that's uh, the notes on Chapter 8. That's the information on Chapter 8. Um, once again, Changing things up for chapter 8 and really the rest of the chapters, just choose one of these reading assignments to do. Don't do both. Okay, don't do both. They're both the exact same. It's just how you want to do it. If you want to read on your own, do this one. If you want to listen to the Ed Puzzle and answer the questions in the Ed Puzzle, do the Ed Puzzle. All right? Um, that's really all I got for you guys. Uh, so in closing, again, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends. Be good, keep working hard, get your stuff in on time. You're doing a fantastic job. If you have questions for me, talk to me, message me, communicate with me, and I will do everything that I can to help you out. All right, take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.